freedom of Russia Legion volunteers vow to end Putin's reign in last election raid. Alexei Baranovsky, a volunteer from the Freedom of Russia Legion, commented on the raid that continues in the Belgorod and Kursk oblasts against the backdrop of the sham presidential elections in Russia during a Radio NV broadcast. We still have enough surprises, Baranovsky said. At the moment, the military leadership has not decided when this special liberation operation will be completed and whether it will be completed at all. Now, we are working according to the schedule. The last election day is in full swing. It's hard to announce yet, but the fighting is on and we are not going to stop there. He also said that the soldiers are fighting with the understanding, if not us, then who? Someone has to do the dirty work to destroy Putin and his regime. It will not be Ukrainian soldiers. Ukraine will liberate its territory, return Crimea, Donbass and all occupied territories within the 1991 borders. But for us, the war will not end. We will have to go on and finish off this bastard in its heart, in its lair. Asked whether Putin was afraid of them, the Freedom of Russia Legion fighter said, if they used to ignore all our raids, in any case, this is the first time Putin has commented twice which means that it at least causes him some discomfort below the back. I don't know if this burning sensation will turn into fear sooner or later, it will. But the very fact that Putin is commenting is a sign that we are on the right track. Vladimir Vladimirovich, wait! Russian volunteers from the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion announced a new operation in Russia's Belgorod Oblast on March the 12th. The Russian Volunteer Corps claimed to have advanced several dozens of kilometers and taken prisoners. Moscow reported casualties among the Russian army. Russia's unlawful, staged presidential elections have been held over three days in occupied Ukrainian territories where occupation authorities have employed various tactics to prop up voter turnout. All Russian soldiers in Ukraine eligible to vote for Putin, dead or alive. A new legislation has simplified the document requirements and allowed Russian soldiers fighting in Ukraine to cast their vote in the Russian presidential election without even showing their faces, meaning those deceased might still be eligible for voting. The Kyiv Post media outlet reported this. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine said the latest instructions from the main military political directorate of the Russian armed forces meant that Russian military personnel deployed to Ukraine no longer require a passport or military ID to vote and even a photocopy will suffice. They are also not required to be physically present at the polling stations. The order is likely issued internally within the Russian military. The Kyiv Post says other Russians can also vote online using Russia's electronic voting system, though some form of electronic identity verification is still required. However, this system is reportedly not being used by the Russian military. Russians also began to complain about technical issues with the electronic voting system today. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine believed the new changes in the Russian military would make it easier for Russian authorities to falsify the results and increase votes for Putin by adding the votes of those who recently died, went missing or were captured. It is obvious that in this way the Russian election commissions will try to increase the number of Putin's voters by attracting the so-called dead souls to the voting. In particular to the number of people who voted along with existing military personnel, they plan to add also those who recently died, went missing or were captured. Red the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine press release. The Defense Intelligence also said the official Russian casualty rate could mean a lot more votes for Putin and questioned the legitimacy of the elections. The Kremlin is carrying out a whole set of measures for the fictitious holding of the so-called elections of the President of the Russian Federation. Although it is obvious to everyone that neither the very fact of these elections nor their results are a means of legitimizing Putin's rule either in Russia or abroad, the announcement read. Scenario of coup in Kremlin announced. Putin's days are numbered. Ukrainian doctor of political sciences Maxim Razumny believes that a scenario with a palace coup and appearance of a new political figure is possible in Russia. He said this to Espresso media outlet. According to Maxim Razumny, Russia may fall into a certain time trap which in chess is called Zugzwang, a position in checkers and chess in which any move 
by a player leads to the deterioration of his situation. In principle, this could happen in six months, some kind of palace coup, Putin being replaced by someone and so on. This gives an opportunity for some new political figure to appear who will start negotiating with the West and bargain good terms for himself. But if Putin even stays in power, these new conditions become worse and worse. That is, it may happen in two to three years, the expert said. In his opinion, the time when the active phase of hostilities will end is very important. We are not saying when the war will end, because now we do not see the possibility and necessity to end it with some kind of treaty or agreement with the dictator. We are talking about the end of the active phase of hostilities, and the sooner this happens, the sooner Russians will start asking, what was it? And what was it for? Maxim Razumny explained. According to him, now, during the period of aggravation, Russian citizens instinctively support their army and president. However, once this is over, there will be a lot of questions about the young men lost in the war. That is, it is such a lengthy process, but it can be accelerated by any circumstance, the expert believes. Earlier, a former CIA chief with three decades of experience in the intelligence field, Jack Devine, expressed his belief that Putin's days are numbered, stating, Putin could disappear tomorrow, and I wouldn't be surprised if some element in the government had decided they were going to take executive action. Devine, who led thousands of spies on covert missions, points to Putin's increasingly unpredictable and dangerous behavior particularly his invasion of Ukraine, as the catalyst for his political demise. The war in Ukraine, marked by brutal assaults and severe casualties, has led to a decline in Putin's popularity. Divine anticipated while also predicting a black swan event or a palace coup, especially if Russia's efforts result in a permanent stalemate in Ukraine.